Let me get my mic popping. How you doing? Welcome to Cacao Crystals and Creating Your Dream Blissness. How you doing? Hello, Goddess Rev. Let me see. Oh, it's it's Reverend Jen Rogers. Yes. Welcome, 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 beautiful queen. I'm so excited. We are. Let me have a sip of my cacao. Sip of the cacao. Okay, all right, we are now ready to begin. Goddess Aurora's here, we are ready to begin. Let's get this party started. Now, if you have won anything over the past 12 days of blissness and you haven't received it yet, let me give you my email address. Email Michaela at yes, we can at manifesting you. Dot com say where's my stuff though <laughs> tell her that you what you won and then we will uh have it qualified by our what do they say in the awards shows they have like the the team of people our team of accountants which is you know me and Michaela looking back at the video and going, oh yeah, she did win. <laughs> and and we will get that out to you. Hello, yes, grand evening, beautiful goddess Lee. So glad that you are here. All right, so what does cacao crystals and creating your dream business entail? So what that means is that tonight, let me put a link we are, I'm going to be sharing with you the seven things that every single blissness, business to blissness vision board needs. All right. So here is the link. Yay. Goddess Aurora says, thank you for my beautiful gift. I'm enjoying it right now. That makes me so happy, goddess. Yes. Goddess Asa says, greetings, beautiful goddesses. Yes. Happy winter solstice, everyone. Yes. Okay. So do you have your vision board supplies, my loves? Do you have your, you know, if you don't, here's an easy way to begin. Wait, let me just close some windows. I got like 10 windows open here. <laughs> you know, Facebook gets janky, especially when we start talking, you know, about vision boards and visioning and stuff, especially on this winter solstice. You don't know, this might be all just too much energy. So let me just close some windows. All right. So one of the things I like to do is make sure that my vision boards are 3D. We live in three dimensions, well, we live in four, but that's a different conversation, right? So we wanna make sure that our vision boards are, are 3D as well. So that's why I'm wearing this grateful button, just because this is something that I think I'm gonna put on my vision board this year. I also always love these plastic play wands, different kinds of wands, things like that, to remind us of having the play and the pleasure and the fun factor. The fun, fun, fun factor. So all of the things that I'm inviting into my life next year fall into three different categories. So for me, it is um, love and love and family is one category. Health and fitness is another category. And mission and money is the third category. So what are you wanting to invite into your life? Let me know what you are wanting to invite into your life. And I will show you some of the things that I've already started clipping out, which are going to go on my vision board this year. All right. So this is a great way to start. You can either look for specific images or you can just peruse the interwebs and see or, you know, magazines or whatever and see what jumps out at you. Right. So these are some of the images that have come to me. Um, so have fun, right? It's always great to incorporate words on your vision boards. I love the energy of this woman, like leaping, like that's like joyful, like playful, fun, powerful energy. These words are spiritpreneur words. If we haven't ever seen them, show up and be you. Yes, show up and be you. I see on Instagram, I'm showing in reverse. <laughs> um, 
La Vie est Belle. I love these. I'm going to put this because next year we're all going to France for the Goddess Level Up Retreat. That's the name of next year's retreat. And we have found the perfect, perfect, perfect castle. We were so excited about it because it's going to be in a castle and it's going to be in France. And then we started reading some deeper reviews. God bless TripAdvisor. Um, so we have, we're still narrowing down our new castle location. Rise and shine. Those are some powerful words, right? So you want to have like words that reflect what it is that you're wanting to call in images that are evocative, that are exciting to you, and the seven things that you wanna have on your vision board, on your business vision board that are a must, are number one, images that are already a celebration of you. You don't wanna look at your vision board and for everything there to feel so foreign to your energy and foreign to your spirit. Because you know why change is so hard for us? Change is typically so difficult because our brain enjoys the familiar. Not only does our brain enjoy the familiar, but our brain is programmed to keep us safe with the familiar. So for example, if you feel like, well, why do I keep uh, uh, attracting these same friends or these same, you know, boyfriends or girlfriends or whatever it is, or these same issues. It's because you are seeking out the familiar even when it is not in your favor. So when you're creating a vision board, you want to make sure that you and your energy are a part of the vision as well. So the things that you have going on now. So for example, these were my last business card. All right. I got it. Um, business cards, I think are still useful. So I will update and get something new going for 2019. But so these images, I probably will use somewhere on my vision board. This is a recent panel that I moderated, right? And so I don't want to show too much of it because it has other people's names on it and stuff like that. But I will incorporate this into my vision board so that my brain, when my brain sees these images of me that are familiar, that have already been lived, my brain is saying, oh, okay, we know this life. We know what we're seeing. It is familiar. So number one, make sure that your vision board is, it's great to be a visionary, but your life as a visionary, hello, queen poetry, also must celebrate who you already are, number one. Number two, that there's a clear mission or vision. That's why we spent that day talking about your mission or vision statement. Number three thing that you want to make sure that is on your business, business vision board, what your business ideally looks and feels like. So for example, some of the things that I have are that to reflect you know what i want my business to ideally look and feel like is are these words been around the world right i love having a global business i love having an international business and it shifts from time to time like i showed you on my um vision board from this year because last year i traveled so much i was in london i was in paris i was in london a couple of times i was in the bahamas i was in south korea so this year on this year's vision board was a sofa like i just want to sit my cute self home for a little bit and enjoy nesting right so there's no shame in that there's nothing wrong with whatever it is that you're wanting it's your beautiful life that you're creating and it only has to fit you. It doesn't need to make other people happy. Other people don't need to agree with it. It doesn't have to make sense to anyone. Goddess Saskia says, I am inviting nature, my nature, the nature of others, and, the, and nature herself. Oh, that is glorious. I have the perfect image for you. Have I got an image for you? <laughs> There's this one, and there were a couple of other nature images that I also saw and that resonated. I love that this said, um, give it some green. And I love the, you know, the kind of double energy and double meaning of that, because like I said, I'm inviting in more health and vitality and well-being and abundance. So yes, give it some green, right? Give it some green. 
I also love these letters, um, these words when it comes to my business, my amazing soulmate clients. You're gonna get the level of support and care that you need, right? So make sure that you have images that celebrate you, clear mission or vision, what your business ideally looks like and feels like. And then number four, three big things that you are creating, inviting into your life. And number five, your soulmate clients. Put them on the vision board. Make them a part of the vision, a part of everything that you are creating, right? And so you can represent them in different ways. So I love these two images when I think of my amazing soulmate clients. So this one says, it's my job to open the door for others. And I feel like, yes, that is a part of my job. So I love that and love the feeling and energy of that and this image as well. And so these will also be a part of my vision board. If you need the breakdown for what I'm going, what I'm listing, the, the top seven things that you need on your vision board, I am, they're on my blog. You can go to womanifesting.com slash business vision board, womanifesting.com slash business dot dash vision dash board on Facebook. I just put the link and you can find it there. Just go to womanifesting.com, click on blogazine and you'll see it. Okay. Um, it's also in our Facebook goddess group at imanifestmagic.com. Top seven things that you need absolutely on your business to blissness vision board for manifesting and creating what it is you want with your business and your life in the coming year. Number six, how do you intend to give back? Because again, it's a cycle. We give and we receive, right? And so we think of like all of the juiciness uh, on the vision board that we want to welcome into our own lives. And that is amazing and juicy and exciting and fulfilling. And so what's the circle? What's the circle? How are you giving? What are you giving? And to whom? And so that's why I had, you know, that it was important to include the words of, um, you're going to get the level of support and care that you need. And then there were some other images that I had here, have here in this uh, pile <laughs> that are specifically around um, giving and giving back, right? Um, and just life in general, worth, 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 worth. Yes, yes. Here are some other juicy ones. Wear your beauty brilliantly. I love that. Wear your beauty brilliantly. Another great one um, here, the spirit of, and then you can fill in the blanks. You can use your own handwriting and your own images. The more that you are infused with the energy of what you're creating, the better. Number seven thing that must be on your business to blissness vision board is your abundance, celebrating your abundance, right? It's clear that you have a vision. It's clear that you have a vision that you're putting in the world, but give it some green, give it some green, right? Put the energy behind it in order to welcome in what you are wanting to create. And there's no way, there's no too far. There's no too far that you can go when calling in and welcoming in your abundance. Oftentimes, like in this community, especially we have guilt or issues around wanting to welcome your abundance. No, welcome it all, love, <laughs> whatever it is. And some things we'll relate to, some things that we won't. But, you know, because this is also, this is abundance. That's the feeling of abundance. That's what abundance feels like. So get images that, feel juicy to you, that feel wealthy to you, whatever that means, without judgment, without judgment. This is a judgment-free zone. This is you creating for you, for the energy and the sake of you. Hello, Goddess Dawn. And I just wanted to show you guys this. Well, a couple of things. Somebody asked me to show you um, more of the planner vision board that I showed a little bit of the other day. And I'm going to get to that in a second. But here is maybe my very first vision board. And I'm going to frame it better 
but it's in now this uh, shadow box that has been in <laughs> for the past, you know, I don't know, 30, 40 years or whatever. And it was a dress. It was a sunshine lollipop. It was age 10. <laughs> it was me playing dress up. It was a fabulous cake right so your vision board doesn't have to be what we are thinking of in terms of a standard vision board it's just you creating and being able to visually celebrate if you are a visual kinesthetic person what it is that you are manifesting in your life what it is that you are inviting into your life okay hello love my locks hello global lactic yes Yes, 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 absolutely. Goddess Aurora says, yes, going to France. So just to be clear, this was all that I meant the other day when I said um, that I like using my planner, the, the spaces in between my planner, and getting people on Etsy. You can find great designers on Etsy um, who either already have these dividers, some of them, like this one was something that already existed, or you can have them design them for you specifically and recreate scenes that you are wanting to invite into your life so this was the one that i showed you the other day so for example you know if you are wanting to feel like okay well i could work anywhere and what does that mean for me right obviously the picture that i have or what i enjoy is going to look different than what you enjoy. And so there's just different kinds of images with different books and things like that, that again, mean stuff to me, but wouldn't necessarily mean anything to anybody else. And that's fine, because that's what it is all about. It only needs to mean something to me. It only needs to feel something, for, for me to feel something when I look at it. So, you know, I probably, I will do an updated, version this was you know my last book was named the sacred bombshell handbook of self-love right so i'll do something for my current um name of my website is woman manifesting and for my next book etc right and so asking yourself how do you want to feel and putting it into imagery if you don't have access to somebody who could do this for you you could just you know literally um you know print things if you still have a printer or get someone to print some stuff for you or you know again you can also just do it on pinterest how do you want to feel how do you want to feel all right so those are the seven things seven things that you need on your business to blissness vision board i'm gonna put the link again the link is at we're manifesting dot com and we will continue to go more and more into it so the next step is now that i have all of these cool images that i showed you all the images are in here i'm gonna now take these images and i will either start to put them on a board like this like last year started like this right got these at I don't know CVS Dwayne Reed something like that for not a lot of money or I could you can also just use a here's like an old um, bulletin board that I have I have this and I have some um, pink push pins and you can just start like that so I may just start like that until I figure out how I'm wanting to arrange it right with some of my affirmation cards Let's see, let me pull, pull a good one. The only one who can reject you is you. I don't know that I'll put that necessarily on my vision board. Maybe I will, right? So with some affirmation cards and some good juju, some good juicy energy. So next, So the next step, like I said, is piecing it all together. So that is what you're going to see tomorrow, all right? So Goddess Sasquia, if you're still in the room, let me know and pick a number between one and 11. I'm gonna pull a card for us before we go and I am gifting you with a deck of my well manifesting goddess positive affirmation cards but you got to be in it to win it if you're still in the room is goddess Saskia still in the room let's see 
Yes, she is. Yay. All right. So Goddess Askria, give me a number between one and 11, and then you're going to send me also your mailing address so that I can gift you these cards. If you've already got them, let me know, um, and we will figure out something else. For your beautiful comment, I'm inviting nature, my nature, the nature of others and nature herself. I love that because I'm feeling like my one word for 2019 maybe connection connection I think is a really powerful word to explore okay so she says 11 please okay so this is a double deck these are two decks so <laughs> when you get the deck and it's only this thin don't be like well what happened Abby why'd I get like a half deck no this is two decks put together all right so here we go so our intention is on nature nature Beautiful intention, okay, especially here on the winter solstice. Okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ooh, eleven. Ooh, okay, let's see which card that is. Okay, so our card on the top is, oh, I love, love, love water goddesses. This is goddess Atar. Atargatis, Atargatis, and the affirmation is: I enthusiastically dive into my own growth and rev and evolution. This is an awakening card, awakening the energy of awakening. I enthusiastically dive into my own growth and evolution, which is I think what we are all doing here. Oh, very. Oh my gosh, no wonder. Okay, so here's what jumped out a winter goddess, goddess Freya. <laughs> so on winter solstice, so being that this card jumped out, this is the one that I should have pulled first, right? And the affirmation is, I, I receive all blessings. Giving and receiving are the cycle of life. I receive all blessings. Look at you with your powerful energy, goddess Saskia. I receive all blessings, giving and receiving are the cycle of life. I think that that is really, really powerful. So Goddess Saskia, make sure that, let me give you again my email, Michaela at yes, we can at womanifestingyou.com with your mailing address and let her know that you won the one manifesting cards today so that i can get those out to you asap i'm so excited yay all right goddesses so i will see you tomorrow with uh probably some semblance of putting my images on i don't know this janky looking uh vision board but we'll see <laughs> my beautiful images when I put them up there. We'll see. We'll see uh, if they are there or on a piece of paper. But either way, we'll start to have a semblance of a layout. And I love it when you look at a vision board and you feel like it tells a story. All right, just remembered one of the other things I wanted to show you yesterday that I teased with was, you know, this floor tile. So you could, your vision board could be you taking images and putting them, if you put them in the middle of like a floor tile, then that creates a work of art. Again, something that can be in your space, in your home, and make you feel good when you're looking at your own goals and dreams. Yes, Goddess Saskaria, she's talking about the card. She says, that is for all of us and nature. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Giving and receiving all blessings, the cycle of life. All right, my loves. Happy, happy, happy winter solstice. Be seen, be heard, be an amazing movement. And I will see you with the next stage in my blissness vision board evolution tomorrow. Namaste. I'm so excited that that, go that goddess card came up. Like that is really, really dope, goddess Asquia.